We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. Looking forward to this matchup, and it's next on MLB Network. Jake Odorizzi, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Jake Odorizzi is a really good pitcher. Doesn't get a lot of respect for the quality that he has. Low to mid-90s fastball, great straight changeup, and more importantly, a curveball that he can throw at any time. A really strong three-pitch mix. He's a pitcher, a not a thrower. The left fielder. Eddie. So stepping in, Eddie James. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Here it comes. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. This right here is the difference between an average hitter and a very good hitter. The average hitter probably doesn't do anything with that pitch, but this guy goes down and gets it muscling it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Now in the box, Max Kepler. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Looking to turn things around a little bit. Had a decent month last night, but not a great month. And we know this is a guy that can consistently hit well over 300. Reyes will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Now at the plate, Spencer Keyboom, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Spencer Keyboom. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Polanco ranging into the outfield. He can't get there as it falls in. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his. Digging in to try it again. Oscar Mercado. Oscar. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Indians go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A-B, maybe once a game, job. maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Max Kepler the next to grab the a bat. So the far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Yep, almost Laura. went He's deep right his here. last He's AB. Right certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty come good. On, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the... So striding now forward back. now, Let's Eddie James. He Eddie. singled his last time up. Yeah. Hey, let it fly. <laughs> Has a look, now the pitch. And he turns this one around yeah. high and deep to center field. Naquin is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third tonight. Stick. Now with the plate, Eddie now James. Back. He flew out in his last at-bat. Eddie James. Hey, drive him in. No one better right here. First pitch on its way. Hit hard towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout 
This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 4 nothing the score the tonight. Right the Indians tonight. came through well, late, the taking the lead in the Indian. eighth to secure Four the runs. victory. Well hit. No error. They left 13 men on We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. It's Twins Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Sonny Gray gets the starting nod for the Twins. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Line towards center field. Naquin is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the... The next twin up, Eddie James, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter which side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a two-run shot to right center. So his remarkable season continues as the Twins have made it a three-to-nothing ball game. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Stepping into the box, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. 1-1. One, one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Ah, oh man, that swing right there, Dan. That had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today. You know, and that'll rattle you a little bit. This guy's the... Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie James, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a line drive, but this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Hey, nice and patient. Get your pitch. The 0-1 on its way. And he turns on one, oh, sending it high no, and no, deep to right. No, and it, that is it. off the wall. The relay throw. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed. So striding in, Eddie James. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The relay. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Well, when you're hitting the ball as well as he is, every time you swing the bat, you're thinking the ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Now batting, Eddie James. Batting. He'll try to Left follow field. up the double in his last Eddie. at bat with another big Eddie. hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for go. him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Nick wins under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, 
paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? 14 to five, the final totals in this one. Minnesota put a 14 in the run column here today. Sonny Gray earned his ninth win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Aaron game. Savali Four was hit hard to the tune of seven minutes. earned as he takes the loss. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. It's time for... Jordan Belazovic, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, in a day and age where no runs are scored at an alarming hey. rate, this guy's been pretty rock hey. solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. No left fielder. Eddie. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Now Runner in scoring right position with Sugan. Good Kepler. lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing down, and down, a miss down, down, and that down. ends the inning. So here's Tyler Naquin. He's one for two Up in the ball game. Cleveland. The center fielder. Tyler Naquin. This is hit the other way out toward left field. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that Indians leave one. They're still down 5-3. Now batting. No Digging in and looking for more, Eddie, Eddie James, Yay. and he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity hey, there. Get your pitch. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, oh. and they turn the double play. Ready for another chance? Here's Money Tomas. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple. This is hit high and deep out to left. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. James is camped under this one, and that's out number 2. Ready once again, Eddie oh, James. He'll swing it from the no left, left side right here. Really hey. doesn't matter what side the play that this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. Hey, swinging left-handed and swinging from the, the right ball, side the against ball. lefties. Up, the numbers right are Stand quite up, the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. Digging in once again, Max now Kepler. Back. And their runners the at the corners field. now. Back. Throw over to first. Runner oh, back did. safely. Five runs, hey, nine now. hits, and no Nine. errors in the ball game for Minnesota. He's, going, he's, he's going. running, and he misses with it. Ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. 
Stepping in, Down Alex bat. Kirilov. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Kirilov. Come on, baby. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Twins forced to settle for one. Eighth inning coming up. Standing in, Josh Naylor. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Last strike now for Cleveland. And this ball's in the air to left field. And this should do it. And that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made and the Twins have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Six to four, the outcome today. The Minnesota Twins seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Jordan Belazovic earned his ninth win of the year. Taylor Rogers earns the save out of the bullpen, his 23rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final one.